asking for what like uh, tone I'm using I mean I, like I said I keep it simple um, I'll try to I'll try an amp at like kind of low settings or a VST or amp head or anything add like a whole reverb just a slap back delay quick quick just like a one two like you know tat 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 I like that but uh I'm not even running a compressor right now. I mean, I have a compressor running through the app, but I'm not using a pedal compressor. So for pedals on this, because this is the setting I was using when I was showing you that shit earlier. I just made it like a couple days ago. I got so many different kinds of sounds though. I really love like that old Marshall Plexi sound, especially with the MGs, with these 707s. All right, so these MGs, they're not um, they're not wired normal like I, I do a lot of weird modding so these are actually running at 18 volt so I got two I mean you're an electrician I used to be you, you know what I mean I'm running two 9 volts parallel to give it an 18 volt so it doubles the output on them good tip you know All right. um, but I'm just using a NS2 uh, it's the new version of NS2 I mean I'm, I'm running this thing fully tacked out it's on reduction pretty much on the minimum decay and on maximum it's on max threshold and I got it running straight in and that is a Joyo pedal and Joyo is like a Chinese company that makes knockoffs it's actually this is a clone of the OCD overdrive and I got it running kind of weird I got it at like 75% level 25% gain and the tone at <laughs> That's my eBay. The tone at um, seven? No, no, twelve. Like at two, at two o'clock. All right. And I'm running it just in. This is what I use for my practice amp. I love the fucking thing. It's awesome. It's a spark. It's called made by Positive Grid. They do BIOS and stuff. I mean, I I got my I got a gaming laptop. I got like a powerful laptop over there, and I use a Scarlet Solo interface. Where is it? Let me one of these this thing can't really get the angle um, I actually haven't hooked this thing up yet I just bought it like a couple days ago I was using old Steinberg for for like seriously from like high school like it was just a USB interface it was the one I've used since I was like 13 and the thing finally died on me because uh, like I, I quit playing man I had all my shit in storage I mean I, I just bought this guitar like a month ago um, I got this, I got my old 1572 Prestige, which I love, it has a Bill Lawrence LX500 pickup in it, like the real Dimebag pickup, I got it, in a, I got the pickup in, a, uh, in Memphis when I was truck driving from a, a re radio repair store, I bought like tubes from there too, but this spark amp, dude, this thing fucking rocks, so how I have it set up, let's see if we could do this. All right, so I had a model. I'm modeling it after what I think an angle fireball sounds like. So I just got got the noise gate running kind of 12 o'clock ish. That's in there. No compression on it. Using like a TS a TS9 copy, like a overdrive in the app too. Plus my one on the down there. Using this amp. Uh, I got the mid scooped, the bass all the way, treble at noon, kind of like Dimebag does it. And I have some better Dimebag sounds too. Gains at like 2 o'clock. Uh, the delay, real simple. You know, let's see, let's see that I always have like the fade back and fade time kind of parallel to each other, so they got a nice slap back. It's at 500 milliseconds, so, you know, it's not that fast. You know, very low level. And the reverb. It's a, it's like a hall reverb and it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple. Like if you see, it's kind of, it's pretty stock. It's like there, there, the low cut, the high cut are on the same spots. The time is pretty much at the same time as the delay because I, I like things matching and, and like the dwell is a little less than that. So it just swells in and swells out just enough. Like it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but if I showed you and like played with it, showed you how like I pick and stuff and like I, I could do some cool shit like, uh. I can make like a slap back. Uh, it's kind of like what Buckethead and Paul Gilbert does. It's like a delay thing where you tap, you hit it once and it hits the note twice. So it allows you to play like some really cool sound and pick and shit. Like a bunch of songs they have do it. Uh, like Big Sur Moon, that's a Buckethead one. 
There's tons of Paul Gilbert shit. I, I, I was really into Buckethead and Paul Gilbert when I was a kid. But yeah, dude, this Spark Amp, fucking... I mean, I don't even have the Katana anymore. I know I told you to get it a while ago when it came out. I used it for a little bit, but it's just... You gotta really tweak it with pedals and stuff, and I'm kind of a simplistic guy. Oh yeah, I, also, I forgot. I got the Crybaby in there. It's like a mini Crybaby. I do use it. It's great. It has like this one's like a higher end model. It has like four different pedals in it. Uh, a gain boost like on the side, and I don't know. I don't even know how I have it set right now. Very light. I like it light, but I like the sweep to like really hiss. You know. Because it's good for, like, doing shit. Like, like, you can, you know, for, like, the harmonic things, you know. Like, I don't have it on. But Dimebag used to actually turn his wah on for a split second. To get it higher. Like that, you know. But I can still do it without it. Because I'm so used to doing it. I used to practice practice it a lot you know it's harder to do with the seven string though i'm still getting used to this i got a deal on this thing i found it in uh uh what was i in smithfield or something the music complex the place is full of, like vintage gear this thing was on the back wall it sat there for like seven years and no one knew it was there i got it for like 700 bucks i actually traded a vintage strat and got money back and this guitar so i was like fucking hell yeah you know <laughs> But uh, I need to adjust it. I hate this Floyd Rose. It's not low profile. I changed the a couple of things on it, but I gotta order a low pro seven for it. The nuts not set right, so I get buzz a little bit, and I was gonna set it, but I haven't yet. So that's why like, I get some weird sounds. I'm using that Prodigy pick right now, so it's it's cool. Like you gotta change your angle more, but it, it cuts it more. It's, it's like a better thing I don't know but yeah I, I got so many different sounds like this one I, I like this one a lot hold on this one's cool Fucking. I, I call this one my rhythm rhythms tracks oh it's a little loud I like it a lot. I don't, know. I don't know if it sounds good on that, but whatever. But yeah, I mean, the Spark, dude, I think you can get it for like 250 right now. And the thing's sweet. I mean, it has so many options that I don't even use, like jamming tracks and learn songs and stuff. I just use it as a practice amp, and it sounds great with pedals. And it's a 40 watt. The thing, the thing cranks. It's a good Bluetooth uh, player plays bluetooth and shit you hook it up it's cool